Hello everyone, welcome back to VS Day Look. Today I have received my Ipsy bag in the mail. Uh, my April Ipsy has finally arrived. I've been waiting for this for days. Um, yeah, I've been tracking it down ever since last Thursday and finally it came today. So woohoo, let's open this up together and see what's inside. I'm just going to try to rip this open using my non-functioning scissors. Ooh, this looks different. This is April's bag. It is this deep purple color and on it it says, Reality Rocks Ipsy. So I'm just going to randomly pull things out and show you what I got. The first item I picked out is this Jasmine Roll-On Perfume Oil. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. It smells like jasmine flowers. I do like jasmine tea though. Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like those jasmine tea that you can get at dim sum at those Cantonese restaurants, <laughs> which smells really good. I actually really like the smell of that tea. Oh, it's very light and refreshing and it comes in this roll-on travel size, so it's perfect to throw in your purse. I am definitely going to try this out and use this over the spring and summertime. Okay, next product I pulled out is Pop Goes the Shadow. Oh my gosh, don't tell me this is a pop beauty product. No, I don't think it is. It is Elizabeth Mott. I like the cute polka dot packaging. And let's see what the eyeshadow color is. Ooh, they definitely know what kind of eyeshadow colors I like because I would definitely wear this one. This one is a champagne color that looks like it would be a perfect color for highlighting under the brow bone and on the inner tear duct area. Love it. This is the Elizabeth Mott Champagne Pop Goes the Shadow Eyeshadow. Okay, next product is, ooh, Dr. Brent. I've never tried Dr. Brent stuff, but I've always heard really great things about it. Dr. Brent, this is their Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. Wasn't this in the um, Sephora Favorites Volume 2 pack? Oh, it's still sealed. I think it was, and that thing sold out like in no time during the um, VIB sale because, you know, there's some really great products in there. Ooh, I like that. It smells really citrusy and it has these really finely milled beads in there that helps exfoliate your skin. I love using exfoliant, so I am really happy that I got this. Uh, right now I'm using the St. Ives Apricot as like my general drugstore exfoliant. Um, I also have the Biore one, which works really great. So now I have Dr. Brent to try out. Next product I pulled out is this Kaylin Tinted Lip Balm. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's cute. Um, what is this supposed to be for? So the lip balm looks like this. It is this, what color is this? It is a mauve rosy pink color. Let me see if it's moisturizing. Because I got this lip balm from them once. I think it was a mica lip balm and that dried out my lips. That was crazy. What kind of lip balm dries out your lips, right? Um, this one doesn't have a glossy sheen to it. It's more like a matte finish. The color looks okay. It has a coral orangey tint to it. I do like orangey tones for the spring and summertime. This isn't a really efficient size for a lip balm, but um, okay. It's cute at least. This one is called number 12, Apple Pink. Last product? Yep. The last product I pulled out is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil. Is this a foil packaging? It is, isn't it? And it's gonna look like one of those magazine samples. Oh no, it isn't! The pencil is actually in the actual little booklet they give you. I thought it's gonna be like those little tiny size like samples that nobody really uses. Hmm. But this is good. I've heard really great things about the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. 
So, oh wow, it goes on so smoothly like butter and <clears throat> my voice is going. And look how pigmented it is. Few swipes and you get this jet black color. And yes, this one is in the shade Black Velvet. Woohoo! Finally, I got some Urban Decay stuff. I love Urban Decay, by the way. It is one of my favorite brands at Sephora. It, they just have one of the best eyeshadows out there and most of their products are very reliable. Just like the name says, it is definitely very velvety and it glides on like no one's business. Um, I am thinking that I can actually make really, really gorgeous smoky eyes with this. Um, before you let it dry, you just have to take like a smudger and you smudge it out and it gives you like the most sultry looking eyes. These are gonna be so pretty. It's a Smoky Eye Fanatics Ultimate Liner. An ultra velvety plush version of our creamy waterproof 24-7 formula. It's waterproof, nice. Overall, I feel okay about this month's Ipsy bag. I am happy that I got the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil and the Dr. Brent Exfoliant, but other than that, I'm not really sure about the other products. Um, I will definitely come back and let you guys know what I think about them after I've given them a try. So, if you guys found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. As always, I love interacting with you guys, so come on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we can chat. Um, what else? That is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, I really do appreciate it. This unboxing of Ipsy goes by too fast each month. Like I'm literally waiting four weeks for this bag to come. And when it's finally in my hands, it just takes like two minutes for me to rip it open and see what's inside. And it's like, ah, I wish this awesome feeling lasts just a bit longer. <laughs>